50 miles northwest of Indianapolis in northern Montgomery County, you'll find Darlington. Like so many small towns in the Midwest, Darlington has a story all its own. And it's a story both remembered and lived on by those who walk its streets today. The community has seen its share of changes and, like so many others, struggles to thrive as it once did. But the people here who share a common memory also share a hope for the future. One of the abiding symbols of Darlington's heritage is its covered bridge. Constructed in 1867, the bridge has become a beloved icon of this community, one that continues to draw visitors today. Sadly, the bridge has seen better days. The beams are rotting, the abutments crumbling, the paint is chipping, in a matter of years, the bridge could be gone. Thankfully, efforts are underway to see this relic of the past restored to life and welcomed into Darlington's future. The covered bridges are getting to be few and far between. And it just means a lot to the community and it means a lot to the his, historic side of things. Our goal is $200,000 to renovate the covered bridge back to the original condition. It is going to take roughly uh, six months to renovate the bridge. The best way to work on it would be to cut the bridge in half, set it off the, the abutments, and do the necessary work on it, uh, which is replacing the beams replacing siding, replacing roof, and so forth. One of the things that's been, it's being considered is we do not own any land where, where, the current, where the bridge currently sits. We are looking at the area of where the tow house is. And if, if we was to move it there, uh, we would set it in a angle across Honey Creek, the small creek that's there. We would set it in such an angle that as people drove uh, from on Stockwell Road and or was to come down the, uh, the road on East Main Street, that it would be visible to see through the bridge from from either location. The owners that own the land east of the creek would be willing to sell us some land and, and in which we could develop a small uh, park. We would uh, have a gazebo, some picnic tables, and uh, we feel like the local community would, would be more apt to uh, go to the bridge and, and spend some time, you know, where it be at the shelter or, or, or what. And to the east, uh, we would make a uh, track up to the cemetery in which they could walk around the uh, Green Lawn Cemetery. And then the other direction, uh, I could go up uh, South School Street, which takes them to the uh, Old School Park. And there is a half mile walking track up there as well. As of first of the year, we will be making uh, application for some grants. We currently have 40,000 but there has not been any decision made until we, uh, our goal is $200,000 in either location, the price remains the same. The decision will be made in cooperation with the town council and the park board. We gotta do something to save this historical cover bridge.